what exactly do angels do? Recently, someone asked me one of the tougher questions <laughs> that I've gotten as a pastor in a very long time. The first part of the question actually wasn't super difficult. They asked, what, what did angels do in the Bible? It was the second half of the question that kind of got me. And what do angels do for us today? I think I can do well with the first half. What did angels do in the Bible? Uh, I would respond this way. They said stuff and they did stuff. <laughs> or maybe I, I could expand on that. They said powerful stuff and they did powerful stuff. Uh, do you remember the Christmas story? God sends the angel Gabriel to um, Zechariah. Oh, you and Elizabeth are going to have a son. He, he says powerful stuff. The plan of salvation is unfolding. And then Gabriel zooms or zips or flies or teleports. I don't know how he does. <laughs> how he, does it. he goes up to Nazareth and he appears to Mary and he says, don't be afraid. And then the, the hosts of angels in Luke chapter 2, they appear to the shepherds with good news of great joy. A savior has been born. So often, and actually the, the name angel in Greek is connected to the word messenger. Right, so they brought a message. They said powerful things, especially about the salvation plan of God. That's what angels did in the Bible. And they didn't just speak. Sometimes they did powerful things. Uh, best example for me, uh, do you remember in the Old Testament, there is a king in Jerusalem named Hezekiah? And the world superpower at the time, the Assyrian army had marched, surrounded the city, like it was over, the siege was starting, they're mocking uh, the people of Jerusalem. Hezekiah can't save you. Until, until God sent an angel. Not all the angels. Not an equal number of angels to the number of Assyrian soldiers. He sent one angel versus, I think, 100,000 plus Assyrian soldiers. And the angel wins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, if you don't love angels, like, that's your story. One angel takes on an entire, well-trained, undefeatable army. So, um, the question, what did angels do in the Bible? They said powerful things and they did powerful things. So, what about today? Uh, it's a little bit tougher to figure out because I, I don't know about you, but I've never seen an angel. An angel never appeared to me and said, Mike, son of Tom, <laughs> do not be afraid. I bring good news. Listen up. And I've never like seen an angel fight an army for me or part the seas for me. So what do angels do anything? What, what exactly do they do for God's people? Well, there's a little hint uh, in the book of Hebrews chapter 1. Uh, in context, the author is talking about how Jesus is even better than angels. But he ends the chapter in verse 14 with these really interesting words. Are not all angels ministering spirits who are sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? Let me read that again. Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? So, who are those who inherit salvation? Uh, Christians. People who are saved by the blood of Christ. And apparently angels, all the angels are sent to serve people like me and like all of you who believe in Jesus. They're called ministering spirits. We can't see them. They're spirits. They're invisible. But they minister somehow to us. And that, honestly, that's a question um, that I still have. How, how exactly do they serve us? How do angels minister to us? Is it like those like weird, coincidental, inexplicable moments where, you know, it shouldn't have happened, but then it did? You're late for a meeting, there's nowhere to park, and then somehow there's an open parking spot? Did an angel, like, rearrange the, the cars? Were you supposed to slide off the road during that bad ice storm, but then an angel was sent to serve you? and extend your life so that you could spread the name of Jesus? And, and the answer is, maybe. Angels do powerful things. <laughs> so how exactly do angels serve us 
Um, here's my best biblical answer. I know that they do, but I don't know exactly how, which is why I can't wait to see the angels in heaven. When I make it to heaven and see the, the king of the angel armies, Jesus, I wonder, I wonder if he'll send some angels to speak powerful words to us, to share the story of how they served us, ministered to us, saved us, protected us. I wonder if part of the worship in heaven will be praising Jesus for all the angels that he sent to bless us in ways we couldn't see because they're spiritual beings. So, I would love to give you details. I can't. <laughs> but I do know this. Angels are real. Angels help God's people. And one day we will praise Jesus for the angels he sent in our lives. Did you enjoy this video? Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you don't miss a single message. Click right here.